Hey guys, Tony Soy Sass Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. Because I totally screwed up the first time I was recording it. And I'm re redoing it again. So today we're doing the uh the with the bush off from uh, the uh uh Privada Club, Privada Cigar Club. And they made the cigar for Jimmy, and I don't know much about Jimmy. Uh in fact, I don't like his personality. It's just personal. No, not it's just personal preference, and um, so I don't really care for the cigar. But you know, Eric was like, "Ah, you know what? You gotta try it," because you know we also went out of our way to make uh, ITS project cigars, and um, a lot of time we should compare our cigars to say, "Hey, how is our work compared to other people's work?" Uh, being, you know, an average average guy, you know. So you know, Jimmy worked with. Provider Club to get this done. Uh, I don't think that he went out of his way to go blend this. I don't know. Maybe a Liga, um, uh, not Liga. Provider Club uh, has to, just provided the blend and then they partnered up. Uh, we went to our, we went out of our way to get our own blend. So we want to compare how our result with other people's result was, but not necessarily like a uh, a critique, but more like it. If this thing was significantly good and our thing is significantly bad or compared to this, then we should think about that, right? So it's something that we should uh, uh, review it and see what's going on, right? So without talking about it too much, let's take a look at the cigar. Privada Club, the bush shell, comes in 6x52 Toro, uses an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper, a Dominican binder, and fillers from Jalapa and Candega, so Nicaraguan. This is about one year of aging. I, I don't know if you want to call one year as aging because it takes a minimum of that to even be a cigar kind of thing. But one year aging. And overall, the cigar look somewhat dry and a little bit velvety in a way. Let's get started then. Uh, just not much. I, I don't know much about the cigar. There's not much information. Um, cigars from Privada Club, you tend to not hear it from half wheel or anything like that so let's get started okay so i already caught the cap but let's smell it it's sweet almost fruity it's peppery it's woodsy that's what i got so Now, I had to cut this very, very deep. The first time I cut it, it has no draw. And that's what I worry about. So I had to cut it again. And um, I didn't want to critique that too much. Because I did the previous time. I was like, oh my god, no draw. Oh my god. So after I cut a second time, this is enough draw. So that's where we're going. And musty witsiness with some pepperiness. And ammonia. Okay, let's light it up. Overall, the draw is still very tight. 
I need a little bit more. Hopefully we'll loosen up because because over here is very soft. You can see. You can see I can squeeze this in and shape it. This part is underfilled. And this part is overfilled. I can't press it at all. I don't know if you can see it. I can't press this, but I can press this. See that? Up to here. Like you can see I already deshaped here. I can press this in so underfill, but over here so overfill, I can't press in. And this super overfill here that there is almost no room. White pepper. Barnyard. Cedar. Like I say, it has a little bit of ammonia to it. It has this um, almost like sharp sourness at the end of the like the, at the finish. Yeah, what is that sourness? It does have some of that sweetness at the Jalapa characteristic and a little bit of like dankiness, but not a lot. Like I think the pepper has a little bit more body to it than the rest of them. And the barnyard. All right, let me smoke one third. I'll be right back. All right. One third. Ooh. Ah. Ash just fell down. Okay. All right. There is a very, very subtle, like, apple sweetness. And there is a whole slew of badness. I don't know if I should talk about it. There's some white pepper. And there is like ammonia, there's sourness, there was a really weird finish at time bitter. It tastes, it tastes like a really, um, I don't get angry at me. It tastes like a really shitty bundle. Don't get angry at me. I don't usually describe a cigar like that, but. I don't even want to finish this cigar. And it's nothing on the person. Because the person probably had nothing to do with the making of the cigar. Alright, so Jimmy, whatever. Like, I don't think he have anything to do with making the cigar. He just said, okay, put my name on this. Make a band for me. I'll make, I don't know, a dollar or so per cigar sold. Um, but this cigar... Like, Jimmy, have you tasted this? I mean, you being a cigar reviewer, and you, you I'm sub I will be surprised that you're okay with this flavor. And what surprised me even more is in order to get a cigar, you had to join their membership, which I think this, the lowest was $20. So you got to join for $20 in order to spend another $12 and maybe shipping to get this one cigar. So. You are. Well, I granted you, you, you do get your whatever membership cigar, like I'm Ben cigar. But you know, we all know what um, those I'm Ben cigars are. Like you know, they're just getting a bunch of I'm Ben cigars and sell it to you at premium. That's pretty bad. If you think about this, okay, I think twenty dollar uh, membership gets you. Oh no. Uh, twenty dollar membership gets you four I'm Ben cigar. That means uh, excluding packaging and everything. That's each cigar is a five dollar cigar, and they profit from that. So that tells you how much, like, 
what are you getting for your cigar? One. So if you pay twelve dollar for this, you think about it. Twelve dollar for this. So if there's a guy with five dollar cigar and they sell this to you at twelve dollars because there's a ban which costs you point whatever cents to make. That's a huge profit for this. <laughs> because this thing. I wouldn't call this rich or refined. It's rough. It's rough from the beginning to the first third. It's rough. Um, like I can think a lot of cigar under twelve dollars way better than this. Pretty much the entire list. So, I'm hoping second third is less rough or gets better. Because otherwise, I feel like I'm gonna get in trouble for this review, and I don't know if I should put out this review, because uh, you know we're all reviewers, and I don't want to hurt people's feeling per se. I don't want him to feel like this is an attack. I mean, it is making him money, but this guy's rough. It's very rough. I mean, the only good thing about this thing is that there is some sweetness. But that pepper and, and everything else is rough. All right. So let me let me get to the second third. I'll be right back. All right. Second third. It's a very generic, generic um, sweetness and pepper. That's all I got. Maybe some woodsiness. I, I'm not getting much out of this. Uh, but good thing is that it starts to die down to like nothingness. So even the bad notes are like not very apparent. So I can keep puffing on it. But, but there, there is not much going on with this cigar. So I don't even know what to say. I, I don't want to say too many bad things about this. At the same time, like I don't have any good things to talk about this. So <laughs> yeah. Um, we can talk about the band. Even the band, like, okay. This band is a printed, no die, just single die cutting band that's printed out. There you go. But, you know, you got the Jimmy's name on there. You got the Busher on there. You got the sunglasses on there that he always wears the sunglasses. And no other information on this thing. And I don't know why there's an overrun print. So like the bottom is supposed to be green, but then it's blue. I don't know why. Like they have this overrun of paint. Maybe it's on purpose that lines up to be blue. I don't know. I don't know. They I think they they print a little bit more blue on that green that's supposed to be green. Yeah, I, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. So that's the band. That's the band. All right, Laster, be right back. All right, I'm done. And um, yeah, Laster, there's not much to it. Uh, you know, it's not a cigar I recommend anybody buying at that price. And you guys know my scale. Doesn't any, and nothing goes less than six. But this thing is definitely not worth six. Okay, I, I just don't rate it on the six because some efforts and all that stuff. But um, I'm not saying to not support Jimmy. I'm just saying that I wouldn't buy that at that price. I wouldn't go through all that trouble, spend that kind of money to get the cigar because there's plenty of other cigar. In fact, majority of the cigar at that price range probably beat the cigar easily. This cigar doesn't have that much good taste. Generic bundle uh, is what I can describe as. So, sorry, Jimmy. I'm not trying to bash your cigar, but in theory, it's just a named cigar for you. And really, it's more of a bash to Bravada using a bundle and put a band on it and then charge that kind of money. Right? So, I, I, I don't recommend it. 
But yeah, hey, if you want to support Jimmy, you know, buy the cigar to support him, but not as like not expecting much of this. Okay, that's what it is. So yeah, that will be it for the cigar review. Thank you, Eric, for getting the cigar for me to review and getting me in trouble uh, because I have, I hundred percent will ha- would not have bought the cigar otherwise. So yeah, uh, yeah, and that will be it. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, and check out swag, check out membership, check out podcast, and that will be it for today. I will see you guys next one. Bye, guys.